there guys. So this is my Bang Toys X9, which I've ripped apart because mine was completely destroyed. And I decided to make it just out of a foam frame and just try it out, see if it worked. So I've done a bit of soldering because I'd lost some motors, so there's the soldering iron. So I had to re-solder some new motors on. Uh, so yeah, this is just a foam thing and I'll have a flight video on see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually fly because I think the ESCs, indoor ESCs in the circuit board here for the X9, I think two of them have like half burnt out so they only got half throttle. But I don't know, we'll give it a shot, see if it works. I'm going to put the props on now so and then power it up and ready to go. So yeah, here's the flight video. Ready for takeoff. And how cool does that look? Props. I installed some little landing gear kind of thing to protect the wires. 200 milliamp hour battery there. And yeah, it looks awesome. Mm, let's hope it flies. Oh. Yeah. I might have to make a few adjustments. I'll be back. basically done is trim down the arms a bit so the thrust doesn't get blocked too much so yeah they're a bit skinnier each arm I put some masking tape to reinforce that and a bamboo skewer underneath I'm not sure if you can see that too well because it's covered in um, masking tape and yeah that's pretty much all I've done I'm straightening up the motors a bit so they align better and oh, and I've to put the motors down so they're downwards more into the frame more because they used to be up like the the bottom of the motor was just at the bottom of the frame there so, and it wasn't quite it was doing a bit of a yaw issue and it wasn't quite working and so yeah I just um put them down a bit and let's hope let's see if it flies and if it flies really well I do a big bigger flight of it and if it doesn't fly I'll have to do some more adjustments and see if it works but the first time it actually surprised me all motors worked which was really weird because on the X9 only two of them worked and they just suddenly started working on this frame so that was pretty surprising I didn't mention that before and another thing I didn't mention was what it like what battery I'm using and etc and just get this battery, it's just charging down here. I'm using a 200 milliamp, I think it's a 30C discharge uh, one cell for this, and then got the typical micro lossy plug, micro lossy plug. And these are 6mm brushed motors. I don't know what the props are, they're just the Bang Toys X9 ones. And that's the Bang Toys X9 board, obviously, as well. And then I just that's, that's all the wire, motor wires. Yeah, it's pretty simple. That's your receiver. Um, and that's your just your plugs, which I had to re-solder because they've been chopped off. But yeah, that's my basic setup. So I'll take it out for a flight now. So here's the second attempt flight. I've gone outside. The wind's died down a bit, so just decided to give it a shot out here. So just tuck the battery in. I've just rubber banded that, so that's how that stays on. It's a bit wet, this tramp, so I might just dry a bit. Okay, here we go. Going third rate. Oh. Just the cord's getting stuck there. All the motors spin, so that's promising. And look at the... Oh, it's actually flying really well. A bit of trimming required. Oh, it's so stable. I'll try bringing it up close to the camera. That is awesome. Trimming's not quite 
the stable, but it does the job. I just think that antenna's getting a little bit chopped. Okay, it's better now. See if the auto gyro is still. Yep, it's still pretty good. Let's try a flip. Oh, that went out of control. Try another one. Oh, yeah, it doesn't like flips. That's for sure. Boy, that was. <laughs> try one more. Try a side flip. Okay. Oh, wow, the side flips are amazing. And the front and back flips are horrible. Maybe I just got a lucky side flip. I'll try it again. Okay. Getting close. Oh, wow, the side flips are so quick. That's awesome. We'll go over here a bit. Bit of proximity. It's actually working really well. Much better than I thought. And I can't see it. There it is. Okay. Bit of front trim, forward trim. Does go out of trim pretty easily. Let's go through the hammocks or nah. No, sometimes with the yaw it just keeps going a little bit. So in the tramp now. See if we can go under there. That's pretty tight. I don't think I will be able to. Come on. Nah. <laughs> Didn't quite work. This thing's just so cool. It's pretty fast as well. Oh, a bit faster than the X9 airframe. Excuse me, I'm just jumping on the tramp. Yeah, that antenna's... Oh, one of my motors is, has detached a little bit. See if it still flies. Oh, look at that. And it still flies. And it flies even steadier. The motor's just angled down. Oh, wow. That's, that's awesome. And it's flying awesome. Oh. <laughs> that, that was flying awesome. Oh, that was due to happen. Okay, I'll go fix that, and I'll probably finish up the video here. Uh, thanks for watching. It's the Phomacopter, as I've just called it, and yeah, it's pretty cool. If you have a broken quad, you might as well, like the frame's broken, you can just make one out of foam. This is just Dollar Tree foam. It's pretty simple design. It's what I build my planes out of, my scratch build planes. So yeah, thanks for watching and check out my other videos. I'll have more experiments in the future. And yeah, this was a fun one. So, see ya.